Love it or hate it, Apex Legends Season 16 is definitely going to go down in history as one of the most interesting seasons simply because we didn't get a legend and there was a massive amount of change otherwise added into the game. And one of the bigger changes and more interesting changes was definitely the update to the firing range. But according to EA Insiders, there was changes to the maps as well as firing range changes that never made it into the game. And it looks like, according to Respawn, once again, we're going to be seeing some updates to the firing range as well as World's Edge. And today, we're going to go ahead and take the deep dive into what you can expect to see in the upcoming season of Apex Legends. But first, guys, if you enjoy the channel and you want to help me out in an absolutely massive way, then how about taking the time to like this video? And if you're new, smash down the subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. But let's go ahead and get into this one. First up, obviously there was huge changes that came with Season 16 for the release, and the firing range was updated quite significantly to have some very interesting additions to it. Now, the fact that we now have AI, in a sense, scripting to the actual dummies, as well as some movement capabilities and damage tracking and so on and so forth, and a few little dev uh, abilities as well in there, like the hit markers appearing on screens and stuff like that. There's definitely a lot that the firing range actually offers in the positive column compared to the negative column. But there was some changes more specifically that were noted in the firing range that we've been seeing for quite some time that haven't yet made it to the game. And it does look like if we take everything at face value at least that we will in fact be seeing some interesting updates in season 17 of apex legends including some changes to the firing range now if you're unfamiliar with the changes that we're talking about for the firing range i'll go ahead and bring them up on the screen right now and as you can see here to the right side there is a whole host of new buildings that look very reminiscent to an area of skull town over on King's Canyon. It also kind of really does just simulate a random area of King's Canyon better than anything else, which is probably a really good starter course for the majority of players and a really good warm-up zone when it comes to 1v1s. Now the fact is, 1v1s has been something that's been in the firing range for quite some time now since the initial changes where they allowed friendly fire to be activated and people have been using it for so many different reasons be it to solve arguments and do hey 1v1 me bros or if you were just trying to actually practice and get better and or even coaching etc there's so many reasons that the firing range and 1v1s have become popular that it's not very odd that they'd be updating it once again and we can clearly see that they've said it's going to be a massive expansion to the firing range and honestly this is where it's going to get very interesting because I do believe this teaser right here is actually more specifically talking about the firing range than anything else. If you actually look around, the firing range is on Solace. It is on Kings Canyon in a sense. It's right there. It's always been right there. So the stuff that we're seeing isn't being moved away from Kings Canyon. It's being moved to Kings Canyon. And those are all the items that are going to be assembled over on the right side of the firing range as the 1v1 location. But let's get to the more interesting stuff and talk about the changes to World's Edge. Now, obviously, you guys are big fans of World's Edge like everybody else, whether or not you've been stressed out more recently with the map or not. The fact is, it is one of the best maps in Apex Legends history and it will probably stay one of the best maps until the game has run its course. But if you're paying quite a close attention to the most recent trailer, you'll have noticed this scene specifically right here, which seems to suggest, at least from the standpoint of a lot of discussion, you'll hear talk that we're seeing about the area that would have been known as Streamer Building completely destroyed and replaced with the Apex Museum. Now, is this actually going to be the location or is it behind streamer building and behind the actual train depot there 
that's really up for debate on this one because honestly if you actually look it kind of does appear like streamer building is in that picture to the left so if that is streamer building that's been replaced very good job on making world's edge a little bit more of a hot drop for the fragment locations because now you're just adding in another point of interest into the area but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this one. Obviously, there's only so much time remaining before Season 17 actually launches and we get our hands on the brand new Legend, as well as all the updates and bug fixes that are going to come along with it. And clearly, we did get some interesting bug fixes more recently. So drop a comment down below and let me know what your opinion is on the upcoming firing range update, as well as the changes that are going to be coming to World's Edge. Are you excited to jump into World's Edge once again? Or are you disappointed that we're not going to be seeing some changes to another map? Let me know in the comment section down below. But I do think you can pretty much rest your hat on the fact that it's going to be World's Edge and King's Canyon in Season 17. And it's not going to be a Storm Point season. I do think Storm Point will be taking a breather. And it will be Broken Moon, Olympus, and World's Edge most likely with potentially King's Canyon coming into the season at the midway point. So keep everything with a grain of salt. Of course, we'll know more once they release the patch notes in the coming days. But if you guys want to continue this conversation or, hey, maybe you want to start another conversation. Maybe you want to add me in some crazy shenanigans that you're getting into here at the end of season 16 in Apex Legends. Or you want to show off your skills at the beginning of season 17 then I highly suggest you head on over to the social media links. I'll put them up on the screen as well as in the description down below. Make sure you give them a like, a favor, a follow, whatever you haven't done already. It all helps out massively and it will, in fact, help the channel grow throughout the future. But of course, it'll be a great way to find out about upcoming giveaways like the Caustic Prestige skin that we're going to be hooking up one of you guys with in the next few days. So if you want a chance to enter and get a possible win... Make sure you check the link out in the description down below and get your entries in while you still can. But yeah, not much more to be said about this one. There is a very interesting subset of the community that is definitely waiting to see what happens in World's Edge. And there's a whole bunch of people that are definitely waiting to see what happens with the update to Ranked. But it does look like Ranked is going to be a very different beast than it's ever been and that could be for the better of apex legends but also knowing respawn it could be for the worst so we'll know in the coming days what exactly is going to be happening because i guess on the first the embargo lifts but here's another video that i highly suggest you check out if you haven't already thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing and don't forget you won't be able to check out any of the upcoming stuff in season 17 if you don't stay safe stay healthy as always have a good one